And by the way, by the 17th and 18th century, then people forgot about meddlers because there were apparently much more interesting fruits that came to be. But I'm now discovering meddlers for the first time, so I think they're the most interesting fruit ever. And again, I'm gonna squeeze it out. Oh yeah, that one's a good one. It tastes really good. I don't know why people don't use this fruit anymore. I mean, if you're nervous, you should be. I'm nervous, right? It's ready to be eaten. Okay, I had a little sneak taste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm actually gonna say this, people. It's better than pumpkin pie. I know. Why more people don't bake with meddlers is beyond me. It's another day for picking something, okay. All right, you win if you guys can tell me what this is. Well, you probably already know because it's actually the name of the post. So I'm gonna tell you, this is a meddler. Okay, I am not joking you that I did not know about meddlers until about a week ago. Kid you not. No idea, never heard of them. I've done research, now I'm picking them because um, I'm either going to make, and it's depending on what you guys decide, meddler jelly, or I'm going to make a meddler tart. So you decide, this is the meddler tree. And this was introduced in Greece in about 700 BC. So it's part of, believe it or not, it's part of the rose hip family. Woohoo! It's probably why I'm attracted to it. But I didn't know anything about this until Beryl told me that she was gonna be making some meddler jelly. I was like, what are meddlers? She was like, there's the meddler tree out in the gardens. I'm like, what? Says so I, I'm like, I can see. So I've looked it up. And so it's again, a part of the sort of rose hip family, but it's just interesting what I'm about to do. I find it really interesting. I mean, there's some way high up. I might have to get a ladder later here. We can get these ones over here. Like this one, this one's good. Ooh. So as, whoop, and a couple fell. So what, this one, okay? So it's all mushy and you think, oh, it's rotten. It's not, it's not rotten. This is what happens. So a, a meddler is a, is a winter fruit. And by the way, by the 17th and 18th century, then people forgot about meddlers because there were apparently much more interesting fruits that came to be. But I'm now discovering meddlers for the first time. So I think they're the most interesting fruit ever. So meddlers though, you have to do a thing called, whoop, do a thing called bletting. So bletting in one sense, it, it's like you have to get them so that they're way over ripe. That's what, so bletting, again, you can see some that are bletted and some that aren't. Let me show you the difference. So this one has not been bletted yet. Do you see how hard that is? Like I can't even, like this is just hard. Then if I pick up one that's been bletted, this is nice and soft. It's nice, the super soft all around. In fact, I'm gonna open one up so you guys can see it. So when they become bletted and, and then you can start to make the jelly, you can start to make the tart. Their flavor is quite like an apple-y uh, apple flavor, definitely. There's some seeds in it. So here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you guys. This is, this is one that's been bletted, meaning it's, it's been given time to almost rot, <laughs> but not, okay? So I'm gonna open it up, there we go. I'll do it this way. So do you see that it's apps. I mean, I have to be honest. It's apps. There's a seed in there. I'm gonna. Mm, mm, it tastes like applesauce. There. That's the best word to describe it. Is that it tastes like applesauce. So that's a seed in there. But it is really delicious. But you can't eat these until they've been bletted. B l e double t e d. That's my new word of 2020. Mm. Okay, here we are. You have seen the meddlers. Meddlers, again, this medieval fruit, right? And then the Victorians came in and, you know, they had an even more special fruit, but the, uh, obviously the Greeks and the Romans used this. And we have a meddler tree here, which I had no idea about until this year and that you could do something with them. So again, as I said before, you have to blat them. So we, and also, so, you can see that these pretty much have all been bledded. They're super, like look at that. Oh yeah, they're super soft and gooey. It's almost like you think that they're rotten, but they're not. 
These have been blended, and then of course I did the poll for you guys. And listen, it was close, it was close, but the tart wins. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do a meddler jam or jelly, right? I probably will do that as well because I got a lot of meddlers here, but we're gonna make the tart today. It's super simple and super easy. It's taken me a while to figure out how to get the, there's like in each of these meddlers, there's at least four stones, like the size of like cherry stones, right? So it's been, so, and in fact, I've got one here I can show you because this is where, so th that, that is in each of these small little meddlers, like four of these. And I'm like, how am I going to get these out? Like, how am I going to get these out, right? Without making it such a mess. So in a second, I'm going to show you, but I've got a lot of it already here. So I've got a lot to go into my short crust, uh, short crust pastry. This is homemade. We will give you the recipe here. So this is a homemade short crust pastry that's been in the fridge for a bit. So what happened was, and by the way, my hands are very, very washed, okay, is you have to take the meddler. I figured it took me a while to figure this out, and you squeeze it out. So I'm just going to squeeze it out. So I get rid of the skin. Yeah, that's the, so, because the skin, if I don't get rid of the skin right now, it's going to clog up my sieve right here. And I'm going to do a couple more. So I got to make sure I just get the skin completely out, squeeze out as much of sort of the meddler. I like to call it a paste because that's really what it is. And again, I'm going to squeeze it out. Oh yeah, that one's a good one. But I don't want that. I do not want any of the skin at all so then, because it will clog up the sieve. So I'm just going to do a few more. And if you're wondering like, well, how many meddlers do you need? I mean, it depends on what size of tart you're going to make. I looked up some recipes and they were like 400 grams. I'm like, 400 grams. It just depends on how much stuff you can get out, how much paste you can get out of the meddlers. So I kind of been, I've eyed it up and I also know that I'm going to be adding in some, um, that one's not very good. So if it's not very good, just like toss it away. Um, I'm going to be adding in some uh, freshly squeezed orange juice. So you just, the squeeze of, of one orange, but like squeeze it really good. And I'm going to be adding in 75 grams. Uh, remember I work in grams. I work between metric and imperial. So um, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, which maybe is a good thing. I'm not sure. So you need about 75 grams of like not runny honey. You, do you see how I've got like this really thick honey here? So you've got that really thick honey. You need like that honey is like proper, you know, like serious honey, right? Like not the runny honey. Then I've got two tablespoons of cream and I went like I went like double cream it, really cream it, cream it, right? So again, not too runny. An egg, and then I'm gonna put in a little, like a little, little, sort of like a little squirt of my natural vanilla paste, and then also a half a teaspoon of mixed spice. Here's the trick. So you have to do this several times because it can kind of clog up the bottom of the sieve, but I've put these in there, and then I just start doing this, right? I start doing this, and you might be thinking, is that really going to work? It does. I got all the paste that you saw below. And so you do this over and over again, and it becomes a real good mindful meditation or what mindfulness act. But I'm going to show you. So how many meddlers did I do there? Probably about, I don't know, maybe I did like 10, 8 or 10. And you can see what's left is literally just the seeds. So I just have the seeds left. And they, the rest of the paste, if you like, have gone into, so I'm done. So there's that. I'm going to chuck that in here. But there it is. There is the paste. And it doesn't look like a lot, but actually it is. Look at that. I mean, just absolutely fantastic. I mean, that looks good, right? And it, believe it or not, it tastes really good. I don't know why people don't use this fruit anymore. It, I mean, I am. I'm going to make jam, I'm going to make jelly from it. So look at this, that all, I mean, amazing, right? It's just perfect. I mean, so far, let's just hope this works. By the way, this is the first time I've ever made this. So it's, I'm making it in front of you. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. So let's just hope it all works. I mean, it tastes so far, the meddlers taste really good. 
so I, here I have my enough. So I've got my, I eyed that up. I'm like, mm -hmm, that plus honey plus some cream, that should be about right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the two tablespoons of cream. So nice and soft. Oh yes. Just about the same kind of texture really as the meddlers, if I'm perfectly honest. And then I'll just take this spoon. So here's my half a teaspoon of mixed spice. So that's going in there and then I can use that to help me scrape off a bit more of the, um, the cream. Okay. Okay. That's good. I might eat that later. And then we've got the honey. So remember your honey, honey needs to like, this is mm -hmm, the real deal, not runny honey. Yeah. But like good honey, good honey right there. Give me my sweetener. Then I've got uh, a squeeze of freshly orange, of or orange. So that's gonna go in there, boom. And I had a big orange. And then I'm gonna, oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna crack the egg. Okay, what is, okay, hold on one second. Let's go here. That's sharper, mm-hmm. I gotta find something. Let's go here. There we go, okay. Just wasn't working on that. Boom, egg in. Hold on a moment. I'm gonna wash my hands. Here we go. So, I mean, if you're nervous, you should be. I'm nervous, right? I'm gonna mix it all up. It's mixing nicely, have to say. Mixing nicely. There we go. It's gonna, mm hmm. Good. So far, I mean, it, you know, it's looking like it should look. Yeah, it's, and it, it, I can smell it a bit. So that's it. I'm just gonna make sure I get that cream all mixed in, nearly there. And then, so we've set down below how much to set your um, oven to. I can't remember off the top of my head because I stick it in the aga. So the aga is like always on and it just cooks everything the right way. I don't know how it does that, but it literally cooks everything the right way, right? So I'm just gonna stick it in my aga. I think the aga is like 200 Celsius. I, that's what, mm, Stephen and I are looking at each other. I forgot what, I don't know what it is Fahrenheit anymore. Um, I know how to do work in Fahrenheit, but I just don't know how to convert. Okay, here we go. Oh my, mm -hmm, this is my special ingredient. I haven't added it in. So I've got real natural vanilla paste. This has been responsibly sourced from Little Pod. And I'm just, I do, I do like vanilla. I'm just gonna add in like, mm -hmm, there we go. That, that's enough. That was like half a teaspoon right there, right? Who doesn't like a good amount of vanilla? Mm -hmm, yummy. So. Oh yeah, I can smell it too. And make sure, like, use the real vanilla. It's like worth it. Okay, so now I'm going to put it into here. We'll move this. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, there's still some chunks, but they'll melt. I, you know, they're gonna melt when they go in. Okay, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could have used a whisk, could have done that too, but it's all right. These, these things will melt once they go into the aga. Yeah, so I did eye that up pretty, I have to say, pretty spot on. Okay, let's just mm -hmm, let's get, eke it out because there was a lot of effort to get this, a lot of effort. There we go, a little bit more. So this is like a, this is a small one. So, cause I just thought if it's not gonna work out, I didn't wanna create a huge one. <laughs> no, I have every, I, I do have every belief in myself that this is going to work out. Now I am gonna taste this. I know it's got a raw egg in there, but lots of people drink raw eggs and they're fine, right? So, so I think I'm, it's gonna be, lots of people drink raw eggs. Okay, that's, wow, that was some good eyeing up. Okay, I know that that's bits of cream there, but that is gonna melt off. Okay, let's just taste it. Okay. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I'm not lying. 
I'm not lying when I tell you, this is really good. So if this is really good, that is going to be good, right? I'm just gonna remove that off the, it's gotta be perfect now. Now that I know that it tastes good, I'm just gonna move that off the, the pastry. Okay, all right, let's go for it, you guys. Let's get the oven gloves on. Let's get this in the aga. Recipe will be down below. Mm -hmm. It's kind of my recipe and then sort of somebody else's that I just found that I just, but then I've added to it. So it's, it is a, I do think it's an original. It's definitely an original Julie Montesquieu using Mapperton Medler's um, recipe. Here we go. In here, so it's gonna have to be in here for about 45 to 50 minutes. And we shall wait and see. All right, the final moment, everybody. This is it, oh my gosh, okay. So, kind of did it for about 45 minutes. So, about 45 minutes. It looks like a pumpkin pie, don't you think? So, I do think that it definitely, sorry everybody, but I'm so used to doing this. Right, so the yoga skills. Um, it does look like a pumpkin pie, doesn't it? And it, I have to say, when I was sort of had a little spoonful of it, obviously before I put it in here, it's definitely holiday-ish, like Thanksgiving, Christmassy. So I'm gonna slice it up and then we're gonna try it. So I'm just gonna head over here, slice it up. It's ready to be eaten. Okay, I had a little sneak taste. I'm gonna, I'm, I mean, I'm actually gonna say this, people. To me, it's better than pumpkin pie. I know, I know. No, no, I can't even believe that I said this, but when I had a little taste off camera, sorry, <laughs> just wanted to, because I was so, in, um, it I literally, I said to Steven, I can't believe I'm saying this, as an American, it's better than pumpkin pie. And I, and I put some clotted cream with it as well. So I just had a little taste because I couldn't wait off camera when I was slicing it up. So I'm gonna taste it. Mm hmm with some clotted cream. I mean, why more people don't bake with Medlars is beyond me. This is, okay, I'm not just saying this because I'm surprising myself these days because <laughs> I'm always nervous, is it really gonna work? Luckily, this has worked, like it's worked better than I could have ever imagined. And in fact, um, when we were off camera, we were waiting for it to, when we were, when it was in the aga, we had Beryl come in and you guys know Beryl and um, she like is an amazing baker and she tasted the sort of the filling side and she was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And I have to say with the clotted cream, mm-hmm, I mean, it is really, I mean, it's so good. So that is your meddler's recipe. I will definitely be making more of these. We've got a whole, as you can see, we had a whole bunch more left, but I wanted to try it out first. Um, I'm gonna continue to eat this, but before I continue to eat, I wanna say thank you to each and every one of my patrons for joining me week in and week out. And of course, those of you in the top tier. So Cheryl, Sherry, Robert, Taylor, and Angeline, Thank you so much, and fingers crossed, um, those of you who want to come and visit us here at Mapperton, um, you'll be able to do so sooner rather than later. Hope is on the horizon. Bye.